In a bacterial cell, apart from the chromosomal DNA there is an extra chromosomal material. This extra chromosomal material is called as, plasmid. Plasmids are physically separate from bacterial chromosome. In other words, plasmids are the genetic material, that are independent of bacterial chromosome. Plasmids are small, and circular-shaped double-stranded DNA. They can replicate independently, during the cell division, and inherited by both daughter cells. In some cases, plasmids can integrate with bacterial chromosome, and replicate, along with the chromosome. In 1960, Jacob and Wallman, termed, the extra genetic material, that is integrated with the bacterial chromosome as, episome. The number of plasmids in a cell, may range from one to several hundreds. And each plasmid, contains several genes. The genes in the plasmid, provide specific advantages to the cell, like antibiotic resistance, while, the normal chromosome, takes care of routine cellular functions. Plasmids are circular in shape, but, in resting state, the DNA is twisted, at every 400 to 600 base pairs, and form, a supercoiled structure. When one strand of DNA is nicked, at specific location, these twists can be opened, making it circular. Based on the ability to transfer, from one cell to another cell, plasmids are classified as conjugative plasmids, and non-conjugative plasmids. Conjugative plasmids, contain transfer genes, that promote transfer of plasmids from the donor cell to recipient cell, by a process called, conjugation. A non-conjugative plasmid, is unable to promote transfer, during conjugation. However, a non-conjugative plasmid can be transferred, by the help of a conjugative plasmid, through a process called, mobilization. Plasmids contain different genes, that specify different functions. Based on their function, there are different types of plasmids. As mentioned previously, the conjugative plasmids play an important role in the gene transfer, from one cell to another. In order to transfer the genetic material, the donor cell must have a DNA sequence, that allows the donor cell, to produce pilus, which will connect to the recipient cell, during conjugation. This DNA sequence is called the sex factor, or F factor, or fertility factor. The plasmids that have F factor genes, are called F plasmids. Bacteria that have F plasmids are called, F plus, and the bacteria without it, are called, F minus. That is the reason, F plus cells act as donors, and F minus as recipient. Sometimes, the F factor of F plus cell, integrates with the bacterial chromosome of F minus cell, after conjugation. The integrated part of plasmid, is easy to manipulate and cut, making the DNA recombination process easy. That is why, cells that have the chromosomal DNA, integrated with plasmid DNA, are called HFR cells. HFR stands for high frequency of recombination. In some cases, the plasmid DNA may get separated, from the chromosomal DNA. During this separation process, the breakage may occur, at other location, different from the point of incorporation. As a result of this, some part of the chromosomal DNA, will be carried by the plasmid DNA. Cells containing plasmids with chromosomal DNA are called, F' cells. R plasmids are the plasmids having R factor, or resistance factor. R factors have specific genes, that code for enzymes, capable of destroying, or neutralizing antibiotics. In the year 1959, resistance factor genes were first discovered in Japan, in the strains of Shigella. When a strain having the R factor, conjugates with other bacterial cells, a copy of R plasmid is transferred, and therefore, provides the strain, with the property of antibiotic resistance. Virulence plasmids produce toxins, and cause infection in animals, and human beings. Many pathogenic bacteria, carry virulence plasmids. However, some non-pathogenic strains like E. coli, can become pathogenic when they receive virulence plasmids, through a process called, transformation. Degradative plasmids are very useful to the environment, as they degrade organic compounds. Microorganisms having degradative plasmids play an important role, in degrading the dead organic matter of plants, and animals. 
Microorganisms utilize the organic matter, for energy and carbon sources. Coal plasmids carry genes, that code for, bacteriosins. Bacteriosins are proteins, that kill other bacteria.